Welcome back. We still have with us Mr. Rabiu Rabiu, who is uh, the chairman of IRS Group and also a public affairs analyst. And you were talking about the role for business leaders before we went on break. Do you, would you want to conclude your thoughts on well, that? Well, for me, business leaders have a very significant role to play in that they are important because they are employers of labor. And we know how many people we have unemployed today in Nigeria, and that resulted in the kind of problems we are having today, kidnapping, armed robbery, uh, fraud of all kinds. Even though government is trying to fight that very vigorously, but it takes a lot more than government to make things right. Even the Change Starts With Me campaign, you just need somebody to inspire you to look at it and to try to emulate that person. And that starts from the family level to the educational process you go through. Well, what do you think should have driven that? Do you think that that was really the role for government uh, to drive? I think government is not driving that, it's just sensitizing the public. When you say change starts with me, it means something is wrong. And if you look at yourself as an individual and say, what am I doing wrong? Am I working hard? Am I a good family man? Am I a good neighbor? Do I care about my country? When I pledged Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend her unity and uphold her honor and glory, am I just saying it or do I mean it? How am I contributing to make that happen? If you help a next day neighbor, you are doing that. If you become a better Nigerian and contribute in a small way, you are making Nigeria better. Because um, I'm asking this based on the reaction that followed that message. For, it was received with mixed reactions. So some right. people, they felt that government was not, government had not removed the log in its own eye to be asking them to remove the speck uh, from their own eyes. And for some people, they just felt that the message uh, shouldn't have come at a time, you know, when the country was facing a, t facing a recession, as it were. They believed that certain changes had not been made enough in government for government right. to demand the same of the people. Do you agree with them? I don't because government is part of the people and the message was across board. It's not just to the people, it's to also those especially in government. Because so much is coming out of those in government that is not expected. And that is why our democratic system must try to identify candidates that are vying for offices. Look at their track record, look at the leadership recruitment process. What has this individual done to my community? What has he done to people lying down in hospital and dying because of lack of facilities and medicine? What am I doing about half-baked illiterates that are coming out of universities? Where are the facilities? Where are the teachers? Why is corruption everywhere from education to business to health care? We need infrastructure. We need to build on agriculture. We have an opportunity in mining. The vast opportunities in Nigeria are untapped. Now, the government's role is to try to make the public understand this is yours. There's an opportunity. Provide an enabling environment that will make people start businesses and prosper. And once you have prosperity, believe me, you will have peace. You won't have people kidnapping people on the road. You won't have people committing armed robbery. But this requires purposeful leadership and policies and programs from government that will drive that. But policies and programs are only that. It's just like software without hardware. Once you form the policies and programs, you must implement them consistently for change to happen. And I think Nigeria has an opportunity to get to the height of its uh, best. You talked about how the president has shown personal example before he became president and he so lived, lived within his means and what have you. Uh, but some people believe that as president he could do a lot more to drive the process uh, of showing example in leadership. Uh, do you think that there is actually a lot more he could be doing? I think the situation is really very bad. So I think he is doing his best in a very bad situation. But remember, he is only the president. Those around him have a solemn obligation to support him, to tell him the truth, to guide him, and for him to have an, a listening ear, to hear what people are saying. And I think he is very patriotic, he is very hardworking, he is very committed to the Nigerian nation. There is no doubt about that. But he alone cannot do it. We, the citizens, have to support him to be able to achieve these objectives. And I don't want a situation where the citizens become important only during election days.
-hmm. Once they vote and they are gone, they are not remembered. I want leaders that go back to their houses and fail to sleep because they are thinking of those in hospitals that have no medication or children begging on the roads that could have been in school or people committing armed robbery are living in insecurity or those in the ID camps that are dying. Look at the people that are dying in the ID camps. Mm. A country like Nigeria with our resources that are unlimited. We should take advantage of this and I think this recession is actually an opportunity if we take advantage of it. Well, we have to say thank you so much for coming on Sunrise Daily. We've been Pleasure. speaking with Mr. Rabiu Rabiu, who is the chairman IRS Group and also a public affairs analyst. Chamberlain, it's back to you. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, that's where we also draw the curtains today on the program. We thank you all for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Oso. I'm Sliman Alede. Thank you.